We welcome you to a breezy evening here in Los Angeles. We are set for AUDL action. The Colorado Summit trying to get to 2-0 on their opening weekend after a seven-goal win at San Diego last night. Taking on the LA Aviators who make their 2023 debuts. Pavel Giannis in an LA jersey for the first time here tonight. We welcome you into our broadcast booth. The Katie Killebrew and Ian Toner. I am Evan Lepler. Very Got so used to seeing Maddie be a key part of that Colorado Summit offense last season. Steiner shoots it and it floats perfectly for McDougal. Still work to do. Giannis to the end zone. McDougal is there. Assist number one in LA for Pavel. Took him less than a minute. Well, Jeff Landisman told us this week how much structure and organization Pavel has brought to the Aviators group as a whole and to its offensive playbook and its offensive outlook. And you can yeah, what a and pick. An errant throw there by Nethercut, trying to find his backfield partner, Sam Goldstein. And the first break chance belongs to LA. That mark by Padula is going to be a matchup I'm excited to see all game long. And you could tell Padula was frustrating Nethercut on that point. The physicality shoving him. Mazur saw a man wide open deep and put it perfectly to the end zone. L.A. takes a 2-0 lead as Mazur connects with Lucas Ambrose. That's his first AUDL goal. There's just a different level of calmness and precision so far from L.A. You can sense it. It's a new era. McDougal has his second score. Three nothing LA. I would say that that is a vintage Sean McDougal catch. Something coming lasered at him and just immediately catching it out of thin air, off balance, making it work. The red zone patience and willingness to move the ball laterally until the... Finer shooting it deep. Hanging up there and well read, adjusted to beautifully by Matthew Agee. Reset for Goldstein. Nine yards shy of the end zone. A few yards back, Nethercut looking for the score and Finer is right there. Quinn Finer, 47 goals in the regular season a year ago. That's his third of the 2023 season. He scored two last night to Pavel Giannis. Pavel continuing to look sharp. That was his 19th completion of the opening quarter. This one's going to take some work to complete, and it's caught by Everest Shapiro. And then his throw conserves greatness, looking for Sam Cook, but denied by the Summit defense. Abel over for Finer, and now Nethercut gaining yards. Milks it to the end zone, and a layout score for Alex Tatum. I think Padula and Brunker were there trying to switch, and they just It gets him there right away. Tatum to Tabor to cap the three-turn point, which turned out to be a break, and now another quick break chance. Connor Olsen flipping it to the end zone, and it's a goal for Joe Smash. We've seen the cutters get further and further away. There's just like a big hole between where the disc is and where the cutters are. Runker is going to send Valley. Chase from behind, but Valley victorious. Heck of an effort from Finer on the bid, but it's Valley bringing LA within three. Well, at championship weekend last year. Jason Valley was tasked with guarding Quinn Finer, and now we see a little bit of role reversal. The Nethercut and Goldstein working together. Hammer over the defense. So that, Perfect. That, that was clinical stuff because Nethercut was looking to the right cone of the end zone and trying to draw the attention of the defense suck in anyone who was watching his eyes and he didn't let anyone know he was thinking about Kai Marshall.
Marcel Osborne getting looked at on the sideline. He is standing up, which is good news. And we resume play with Pavel Yana scoring his first goal as a member of the Aviators. Quick little dish from Sean McDougal to make it 10-7. After the doink from Agee. And Froude wins it right back. We're seeing the 200, 150, 100 club guys, McDougal and Froude, both do work both ways. Bookends for Jay Froude. He thinks about this game a lot, and it's clear from the clinical nature of that that his teammates trust him. As a zipper play to get things started, all the receivers at the front of the stack split in opposite directions. And it leads to Mitchell Steiner from Daniel Brucker with 30 seconds left. Well, Colorado Back to Goldstein, who's been more assertive tonight, Ian. I think you've seen kind of what you've wanted to see from Sam Goldstein tonight. Yeah, I think he's played the role of second fiddle to Nethercut quite well. Done what's asked of him. Difficult throw, and it works. What a beauty. There was not a big window at all, and Nethercut squeezed it through the tight available space for Finer. And not only that, that throw was into the teeth of the wind. We've seen that. In Golden, Colorado, Seattle, LA, Oakland, and Salt Lake here the rest of May and into June. McDougal going deep. Noah Kuhlman adding to his stat sheet in his debut weekend with the Summit. Those challenges may sound, there's a reason it's so difficult for so many teams to overcome them at the highest levels. Tatum to the end zone and a tumbling grab made by Connor. Sound. Uh, Scott Chief spent some time coaching the DC Breeze. Helped the transition to Daryl Stanley, which has gone pretty well. That deep shot is caught by McDougal and Everest Shapiro punctuates the point. Back-to-back -back breaks for L.A. And just like that, it's a five-goal game. So that when they make them, even if it works, it pops in my mind, that's not going to work against D.C., that's not going to work against New York. And we saw what happened against Chicago at Championship Weekend last year when Colorado got hit by a union buzzsaw. Jay Froude makes the tumbling catch. Colorado, I don't know if I'd say they're back on track with that possession, but summit on the board here in the fourth, 9.20 to play. Yeah, we hadn't seen that. Pavel Giannis has been sitting on 399 assists for a couple of quarters now. Last to a score, make it 7-5, midway through the second. Shapiro looking long steiner has it everest shapiro not just a deep threat but he can distribute to the two-lane product dials deep for mitch well steiner was at the back of the stack continue to put this pressure on the throwers of colorado marshall with a nice two-man game in the backfield nether cuts laser is on the money. I mean, that's like... He's made some great defensive plays this weekend, but that's the second or the third, depending on how you want to characterize it, that the, the two favorites coming into the season. Portland gave Salt Lake a heck of a game last night, blew a five-goal lead. Can the Nitro be more consistent to compete for a playoff spot? Can Colorado... Harness its potential again. Kuhlman throws it as time expires. That goal will not count. But the Colorado Summit are 2-0, sweeping their SoCal trip with a seven-goal win in San Diego and a three-goal victory tonight here in L.A.